Okay, this is um, actually a great uh, combination of two tools that it came to my mind. I do have a black ring uh, just in front of uh, black carbon ring in the chamber barrel junction in front of a six millimeter Creedmoor. And uh, I have, uh, this is a brand new um, head space um for uh, actually for the jump uh for testing uh if you put a bullet here that you'd like to shoot and find how much uh a jump or the throw to the you can have uh you can use this tool from um hornady which is an excellent i have um this one plus i have a case a modified case uh, from hornady uh, for all um, the calibers that I shoot, okay. Maybe I don't have a twenty-two, uh, uh, two-two-three Remington because uh, it's uh, for the uh, uh, AR and AR. I load at the mag length, and I don't uh, bother actually uh, shooting uh, longer than the m m barrel length. Uh, sorry, from the um, uh, magazine length. Okay, so. Now this is actually yesterday I was doing test of uh, 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 looking at the uh, the barrel throat um, of my six millimeter Creedmoor, and it came to my mind that hey, if this is in front of this one, how bad is the ring, the carbon ring, the black ring? And it came to my mind that this one has a rod that goes inside this tool to push the bullet. I said, let me see if I can thread this one. Okay, after removing the set screws here. Okay, and see if I can get this one inside. And guess what? It does. So I can thread it all the way. I see here, it's all the way. And comes out of uh, the front of the case so I can see exactly what's happening so this is actually a um, innovative way of uh, using this gauge so we can inspect what's in front of the case uh, just to make sure um, uh, what's uh, in front of uh, the case mouth okay so uh, I will uh, stop this video call it part one and we're gonna look at at it uh, after i insert it in the chamber okay thank you for watching